Hello and welcome to the News 24 English Bulletin. This is Sara Mehzabin. Those were the headlines. Now the details. Anti-discrimination students' movement has been holding demonstrations at Central Shahid Minar chanting different slogans. They are saying the government itself has closed the way for dialogue. At the same time, they have given an ultimatum of opening up dormitories of all universities within the next 24 hours. The students have also called for complete non-cooperation from tomorrow on one point demand. Central Shahid Minar has gained momentum with slogans of thousands of people. We want justice. Justice. At one side, Jagannath Hall. At another side, Bangabandhu Hall. While at another side, Dwell Chaturi is situated. The huge number of people are chanting slogans. Earlier, only students were demanding. Their demands were related to quota reform. The demand has now turned into call for ousting the government. One point demand is all political prisoners will have to be released. If necessary, we will bring our brothers releasing from jail. People are called for attending the complete non-cooperation. People from all walks of life started to gather at Central Shahid Minar since Saturday afternoon. Gradually, the number started to increase. Since this evening, there is no space anywhere to stand at. Earlier, students called for protest program on nine point demands. Their call was for protest procession on Saturday and complete non cooperation from Sunday. Ekram Lakshman, News 24. Artists, cultural activists, and teachers supported the students' movement. Popular musicians gathered at Rabindra Sharubar in Dhanmundi. Later, they joined students at the Shahid Minar. Doctors and nurses also gathered at the Shahid Minar under the Peaceful Doctors and Nurses Society banner. The anti-discrimination student movement held nationwide demonstrations for justice and their nine-point demands. Teachers joined the protest. Traffic was disrupted. In Kumila, a Wamilik activist attacked a rally, injuring 30 students, two of whom were shot. Protests occurred in multiple cities, including Chittagong, Gajipur and Naranganj, causing traffic halls. In Faridpur, clashes with the Islamic League injured several students. Students also protested in Rangpur, Hobikonj, Chatpur and other regions. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called for a discussion with the protesting students. She stated that she wants to hear their concerns. The Prime Minister also directed the immediate release of the detained students. She held a meeting with professionals at Ganubhavun. In response to the nationwide student movement and the current situation, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina met with the leaders of the Professional Coordination Council. She stressed that the door for dialogue with the students remain open to restore normalcy and that conflict must cease. <laughs> তাদের দাবি কি কি বাকি আছে আমি এটা শুনতে চাই এবং যেটা আমাদের সাধ্যমতো সেটা আমি পূরণ করতে চাই আমি এই সংঘাত চাই না আমি কখনোই আমার দরজা বন্ধ করিনি গণভবনের দরজা খোলা যে কোনো সময় তারা আসতে পারে আলোচনা করতে পারে দরকারে তাদের গার্ডিয়ানদের নিয়ে আসতে পারে দি প্রাইম মিনিস্টার অলসো স্টেটেড দ্যাট দ্য ডিটেইনড স্টুডেন্টস উড বি রিলিজড সুন এস যারা করা হয়েছে তাদের মধ্য থেকে যারা ছাত্র ছিল পরীক্ষার্থী তাদের সবাইকে কিন্তু জামিন দিয়ে ছেড়ে দেওয়া হয়েছে আর সাথে সাথে আমি এটাও নির্দেশ দিয়েছি যে এর ভিতরে যারা নিরীহ আছে তাদের সবাইকে 
এবং ছাত্র যারা যারা একেবারে মানে খুনের সাথে জড়িত না বা সমস্ত ধ্বংসাত্মক কাজের সাথে জড়িত না তাদেরকে মুক্তি দেওয়া শুরু করবে এবং সেটা শুরু হয়ে যাচ্ছে she assured in that there would be a thorough investigation into every murder involving students police and civilians and that justice would be ensured je dhoner onnay ba hottakando jarai ghotak ta to amar deshe naguri she police hok eta shishu hok eta manush hok chhatro hok jai hok ami er jothoshoto তদন্ত করে তাদের বিচার হবে আমি সেটাই চাই আমি এটা স্পষ্ট বলি হত্যাকাণ্ডের সঙ্গে যারা জড়িত সে যেই হোক অবশ্যই তাদের বিচার করা হবে যেমন রংপুরে একটা ঘটনা ঘটেছে যে পুলিশ দায়ী সেই পুলিশকে সাসপেন্ড করা হয়েছে এবং তার বিরুদ্ধে তদন্ত হচ্ছে এবং তার বিচার হবে During the meeting the prime minister announced that the government has cancelled the proposal pension scheme for universities autonomous institutions and government agencies This report news 24 BNP secretary general Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgir criticized the government's repressive policies He said these policies have overshadowed the actions of Pakistani attackers. He spoke to the media after visiting the families of jailed BNP leaders Amir Khoshuma Muchoudhuri and Nazrul Islam Khan. Alungi urged BNP leaders and activists to unite and join the ongoing movement for justice and democracy. The Awami League urged unity to defend democracy and development. At a press conference, Party General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir stated that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina advised avoiding confrontation with the students. The government is responding with patience. Awami League members staged sit-ins in Dhaka, including Mirpur and Dhanmundi. They plan to hold more sit-ins in major cities. We'll be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You are watching News 24 English Bulletin. Leaders of Shampriti Bangladesh believe the crisis can only be resolved through talks between the Prime Minister and the protesters. This was discussed at a meeting on Saturday, led by Pijush Bondupad Thai and moderated by Mamun Al Mahtab Shopnil. Participants say the situation around the quota reform movement remains controllable. Assistant Sub Inspector Amir Hussain of Rangpur Police Lines and Constable Shujan Chandru of Taj Hat Police Station have been temporarily suspended over the death of Begum Rokia University student Abu Said. Abu Maruf Hussain, Deputy Commissioner of Rangpur Metropolitan Police, confirmed this by phone. The suspensions were due to unprofessional behavior during the student protest on July 16. Further actions will follow after an investigation. Twenty-two U.S. lawmakers wrote to Secretary of State Antony Blinken about Bangladesh. They raised concerns over elections and labor laws. UNICEF reported thirty-two children. killed during the quota reform movement the government denies this data initiated by senator edward che marke the later highlighted democracy and human rights it called for international action unicef south asia director accused the government of detaining children which the government disputed That's all from the newsroom today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.